Today, we're going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound, magnesium bicarbonate. So let's work from left to right. The first thing that I see is magnesium. I'm going to scan the periodic table to find where magnesium is, and magnesium is right here. It's in group 2. It's represented by an Mg. And all group 2 elements, they're all alkaline earth metals, but they're metals, and they all have a charge of being a plus 2. So they lose 2 electrons when they form compounds. So magnesium is going to be a plus 2. Now I work on the next part. I see that I have bicarbonate, but it's an A-T-E ending, and all A-T-E endings are always polyatomic ions. They're never going to be found on the periodic table. You have to memorize them. So for the case of this video, I wrote down what bicarbonate is. So just use flashcards, you know, write it out, do whatever you got to do to just memorize that bicarbonate all the time would be H. CO3 with a negative one charge. Now, since we have both components and we have the both charges, we do this cool little trick where we crisscross the charges to just say how many of each I need in my formula. So this plus two will crisscross down, telling me that I need two of the bicarbonates. And then this negative one will crisscross down, telling me that I just need one of the magnesium. Now, when we do that, the charges kind of like vanish, and we just use these numbers at the bottom. So I'm ready to write my formula. So I have magnesium, so Mg. I only have one of them, so I don't have to write it. But now, here's the thing, guys. If you have multiple polyatomics, in this case, I have two bicarbonates. I have two HCO3s, twos, right? <laughs> I, so basically, I need parentheses. So whenever you have multiple of a polyatomic, you need to show parenthesis. So I'm going to write parenthesis, write out the whole polyatomic, write out the whole bicarbonate, H, uh, HCO3, close the parenthesis, and now you're ready to put how many you have of them. And now your formula is done. So in this case, magnesium bicarbonate is Mg, HCO3, 2. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Uh, tell your friends, tell your classmates about this channel. We have physics videos. We got math videos. We have other chemistry videos. We have titration, balancing at the moment. So we got, we got it all. All right. So go check it out. All right. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in future lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.